So now we're going to be looking at the rear unit. We go down the driveway here. And this landscaping appears to be all part of this property. Seems rather nice. And I believe there's a drip system over here. Not positive, wait, maybe not. You know, there's an irrigation head right there. Maybe just irrigation, not part of the drip. So here is the area underneath the porch, the deck in the back there. And so here we see the entrance to the Um, how do we, oh, we'll walk down here. And walk up the stairs now. To this one bedroom unit that actually has a small living entry area. Beautiful new floors. Again, refinished. Lots of windows. Wow, this this place has an abundance of window area looking out onto the outside and the garden here. It's, it's a nice light. That across is that deck that's outside of the be rear bedroom that we looked out onto. And here is the kitchen with a formica top, built-ins in the bottom there, decent cabinets, plywood veneer, um, gas stove, a vent, microwave combination fan, small refrigerator and sink over here. Ah, there's the original older aluminum casement window that was not replaced. One of the few windows that has not replaced. Could you get the door there, please? Yeah. And here's the deck that you right off of the uh, the dining area, it's not too big, but it's very pleasant. I forgot the bedroom, so I'm going to go back here. So there's the only heat for the place is this furnace, wall furnace. Now there's a very small bedroom here. That looks like a double size bed fitting in here. It does not look like a queen. Corner window looking out onto the redwood trees. Small closet that has a strange little, they caught this vent that actually goes outside and this has the circuit breaker in it. Which I don't think is supposed to be here because it's in an area, does not up to code because it's in a closet. Really? Yeah, because of fire, a potential fire hazard. And uh, here's the bathroom. New vanity sink. Toilet. Tub. Tile, everything is pretty immaculate here. Nice grab bar. Um but older fixtures and a nice window that looks out here. Okay, we're going to go back now out through the living room and here. So here we enter. This is a very small, compact living dining area here. But we're going to go out to the deck, which is very pleasant and can feels pretty private. 
although you can see the neighbors over there. But there's a very green view. Very quiet, too. So now we're going to go down and just go around the back of this structure, which will show us the issues that I think are um, the one concern I have about this property is drainage. Oh, here's a little platform deck that's in the rear corner here. Good place for a hot tub. And I think that's a little cabinet for the hot water heater. I think because they got moved outside. Mm. But what we have here is the downslope and the drainage back here. And if you can see, these are the lines that come off of the downspouts. That the exterior drainage of this place, because it's a downsloping to the rear lot, is how to handle all of the water. And right now, it seems that most of the roof water from here goes out and dumps here at the rear of the property onto the neighbor's property, which is not really okay. But I don't see any problems associated with poor drainage. There's the new sewer lateral cap. Now I'm going to go up to the side of the house, of the front house up here. Because there was some other work that was done that I want. Oh, we never did go under the deck. So here's an area under the deck. Just some little storage where you keep the trash cans. Little shed space. Uh-huh. Nothing particular here. But what I want to really show you, and there's another sewer lateral clean out that's fairly new is that this area here they did some major work in lowering the grade to the exterior there and you can see here that there's a ground cloth with the pebbles on top this is fairly new and this mild curb retaining wall and new plantings. But there is some drainage that was put in. And here's a clean out. And I don't know what this is. This is kind of important because this is addressing the drainage issue, which is my one and only concern. I don't know because they said that there is some dampness in the basement area. What's that big screen over there? Is that the ball fields from St. Mary's or something? Just notice that. Yeah. Do you see that across the street behind the house? Are, which I hadn't seen, are these screens that look like... That's definitely the ball field. Some kind of screens in the ball field. So it's been quiet here. Trying to think of where we are. Carlotta, yeah, that's St. Mary's over there, I believe. We'll be able to see it easily on the map. Okay. And now we're going to just do one. Ah, some traffic finally on Carlotta. Here's your neighborhood. You can see all of this, of course. If you go Google Earth, and you can go down the street. But this is from the front of the house. Here's the neighborhood. There's a little rise. And then down at the bottom of that rise is, um, not Monterey Street, it's Hopkins. 
Yeah. Just down that's the bottom here. Right? Monterey goes up the hill. So that's the area that's we're in easy walking distance from here. And here's your neighbor. Oh, go bears. Mm -hmm. That's a good good sign. 1334. Okay, we'll leave you at that. Go bears.